magic clogs. Many years ago, the Emperor of Japan ruled over a land of delicate cherry blossom trees, beautiful temples, and golden shrines. But while the countryside was rich in ornament, the towns were home to many poor people. One of them was a young boy called Taro, who lived with his mother on the outskirts of the great city. Life was hard for Taro. Every morning he had to wake early and make the long trip to the marketplace to sell vegetables. Unfortunately, he earned very little. And what money he did make was mostly used to buy medicine for his sick mother. Sadly, no matter how hard Taro worked, they became poorer and poorer. Desperate, the boy decided to seek help from a rich uncle. Uncle Gonzo was known throughout the town for his tight-fisted and miserly attitude. Sure enough, when Taro worked up the courage to ask him for a loan, Uncle Gonzo became very angry. A loan? You must be mad! I'm not about to give my precious money to a little worm like you. Sick at heart, he sat under a tree and wondered what to do next. Oh, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you laughing and playing like all the other boys your age? The boy began to explain his problem, but instead of looking sorry, the old man laughed aloud when he heard the poor boy's story. <laughs> so it's money your problem. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> I'll give you these clogs. Put them on and walk. You'll have your Mars medicine before you know it. He wondered how a pair of ordinary old clogs could possibly help him. Oh, and just a tiny word of warning. Wear them too much and <laughs> you'll become very short. <laughs> Taro was very puzzled by this strange event. But he put the clogs on anyway and got up to start walking. Lo and behold, gold coins appeared right underneath the clogs. The boy was overjoyed. His money problems were over. Then Taro remembered the old man's words. You'll become very short, short. And put the clogs away carefully. From that moment on, Taro and his mother were able to live very well. And Taro was very careful to only use the clogs occasionally, just as the old man had said. Somehow, though, Word got back to miserly old Uncle Gonzo that Taro and his mother were no longer poor. He demanded to know the reason why things had changed. And Taro, being very honest, told him about the magic clogs. <sighs> magic clogs? Gonzo snatched them from his hand. Then he quickly rushed out the door. Oh, I've got to go. Urgent business at the bank. That night, he put the clogs on and walked, and walked, and walked. Gold coins spilled throughout the house, and Gonzo couldn't contain his excitement. Oh, I will be the richest man in the world! The next morning, Taro went to Gonzo's mansion to get his clogs back. He was just about to knock on the door when whoosh! The door flew open and out poured mountains of gold coins. But there was no sign of Zuko. Then a tiny voice screamed. My gold! My gold! Your, my gold! My gold! Taro looked down and there was Gonzo, tiny as a finger and still clinging onto the clogs. He grew smaller and smaller, just as the old man had said. Until finally, he turned into a little worm. In an instant, the worm slid down and disappeared among the coins. The boy shook his head sadly, then picked up the clogs and headed home. From that day on, Taro and his mother lived a peaceful and happy life. Not only that, but he found ways to use Uncle Gonzo's money to help others. As for the clogs, he kept them in a little case. Sometimes, he would find a little worm trying to wriggle its way into the clogs. But then he'd simply pick it up and toss it out into the garden where it belonged.